Media outlets are reporting that birth control is now available over-the-counter in Oregon and soon will be over-the-counter in California. Here's why those titles are slightly misleading and why it's extremely important to get the details right in this case. First of all, over-the-counter means different things in different places. Here in the United States, it generally refers to anything you can buy at a pharmacy without a prescription, anything you can pick up right off the shelf, for instance, like a bottle of Tylenol. But when I lived in London, I noticed that there, Brits tended to refer to over-the-counter to mean anything you had to go to the pharmacist to get. You didn't necessarily need a prescription for it, but the pharmacist had to get it for you, hence over-the-counter, the counter where the pharmacist is. Points for clarity to the Brits. In the case of birth control in Oregon and California, we're actually talking about the latter definition of over-the-counter, the British definition, meaning that you won't be able to just go and pick out whatever you want next to the Tylenol and deodorant. You're going to have to go to the pharmacist, fill out a health questionnaire, which the pharmacist will then evaluate and then use that to offer you uh, different types of birth control that might be good for you. Uh, could be pills or a patch or a ring. They will consider your questionnaire, go over the risks with you, and then give you the prescription that you need. So in other words, this birth control still needs a prescription, but the prescription doesn't need to come from your doctor. Now a pharmacist will be able to give you that prescription. So why is this detail so important? Well, hormonal birth control carries with it certain risks. There are many different kinds of birth control and depending upon your health, your lifestyle, your needs, you may need one or another type of birth control. So it's very helpful to have a medical professional there who can help you sort out what's best for you. The second reason why this detail is so important is because in those states, a pharmacist can still say that they don't want to give you the prescription because their God is telling them not to. They will still have to refer you to another pharmacist who will fulfill your prescription, but still that's a huge pain in the ass. And also as a reminder, in those Walgreens and CVSs, if you're an atheist cashier who doesn't want to sell somebody a Bible, you're probably still going to get fired. The third reason why this detail is so important is that if birth control was available in the American way of over-the-counter, meaning without a prescription at all, that would actually be a win for the religious right. Stay with me. Right now, under the Affordable Care Act, insurers are not responsible for covering anything that you can get without a prescription. And also right now, uh, the ACA states that these insurers must cover birth control 100%. And that's huge because birth control is important medication for a lot of people and also can be ridiculously expensive. So if that birth control was suddenly available without a prescription, suddenly these insurers would no longer have to cover the cost, which is exactly what the religious right has been fighting for all of this time. In fact, they have put forward a bill that would make birth control available truly over the counter without a prescription as an end around to get away with not allowing insurance companies to cover birth control. So that's legislation to be on the lookout for in the future. Although I should mention that some liberals are also working on legislation that would protect the coverage of birth control even if it were to be made available without a prescription. But as of right now, even in Washington and Oregon, you will still need a prescription to get birth control. It's just that you can get it from a pharmacist instead of a doctor. Ultimately, I think that this is a win for women because it makes it a lot easier to access this basic medical care. At the same time, I would prefer to see more solutions that actually gives everyone better access to doctors so that we can all get a full range of good preventative health care. And I'd also like to see some legislation that will uh, force pharmacists to do their fucking job. But what are you going to do? Baby steps. <laughs>